I want to talk to you about what's going on with Othello. What do you mean? Word travels fast in this business. <laughs> so you want to give me a pep talk? Sorry your life's going down the toilet. Hang in there, kiddo. Not exactly. But I'll tell you one thing, you're not going to accomplish anything by feeling sorry for yourself. Life's not fair. So what? Get over it. You know, you have a very interesting bedside manner, might I add. I'm not your best friend, MP. I'm not here to coddle your ego. I'm here to put the best team possible on the floor, and I can't do that if you get shipped out because you gave up. Who said I'm giving up? I'm not allowed to be upset? You're allowed to be upset. But you need to channel that energy in a positive way. Play like your life depends on it and make it impossible for Othello to trade you. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. All right, look. I'm only going to say this once, so listen up. I've been in this game a long time. And I didn't get to where I'm at by playing games. When, when you're where you're at, there's a temptation to try to play things out in the press. All right, well, that might work for the top 1% of players in the league. But for everybody else... It backfires. I'm not saying you don't have that kind of talent, but it's too early in your career to pull that kind of power play. All you can do is produce, and I can help you produce. You just got to trust me. Coach, I trust you. I just don't think I'm good enough. I mean, right now, I feel like my only choice is to get my hands dirty. That's not who you are, MP. No disrespect, Coach, but how do you know that? I'm only 21 years old. I don't even know who I am yet. Not fully. How do you know that's not me? Look, I can't tell you what to do. You're your own person, and you got to make your own decisions. All I can do is give you my perspective. What you do with it, that's up to you. I can respect that. And I promise you, if you do this the right way, I'll do everything in my power to help you to succeed. But if you want any help with the other way... I can't do anything for you. I, I hear you, coach. That's totally fair. Good. Now go out there and prove Othello wrong. Okay. The plan is qualify for current. If I qualify for current for the next game day, I'm going to take the next game day off to see where, where like, this, the rankings are for the seedings. And then if I wanted to go more to, like, my favorite, I will compete in the other, the what well, the last game day on next year. Some of the people I know I need to look out for is Splash and Ty Debo. I played Ty a couple of days ago. I just I saved the film to see where I stand up. You got to expect a low scoring game tonight, Grant. Two oh. terrific defensive clubs fighting to lock each other down. Both these teams are elite on the defensive end. These guys won't be making it easy out there. When there's lots of stops, lots of forced turnovers, it can be very difficult to find a scoring rhythm. And checking out Brooklyn's opening lineup. It's KD at power forward and Claxton at center. Kyrie Irving out there with Patrick Mills. And it's O'Neal in at the three. Now here's MP. Pass to James. Shoots over Durant. That one's good from James on the assist by MP. Boy, you think about the level of contact over the course of LeBron James's career. For most guys, it could wear you out. For LeBron James, he just powers through. Irving against Walker. On the wing, Irving. His last outing, he had 20. Shot clock at six. Tries it from the top of the key. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Irving against Walker. Driving inside. And he buries his first look. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Well, with all the trade requests over the last year, the Nets started to seem like a sinking ship. But with KD still on board, a chance to stay on the course, He's invested so much in this team. I'm glad to see him remain in Brooklyn. So it's the Lakers now. The Nets making their last shot. 
And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. First team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, number 16. Two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. That one falls, so he hits both of them. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Mills against MP. Here's O'Neal. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Three-pointer. And Bryant pulls it down. Yet another miss. Just one for five. Not exactly an ideal start. MP outside. Pass to Walker. MP outside. Just five to shoot. This one for three. He buries it from three. MP's got five points. Hey, when he's hitting that shot, it really helps the spacing for this team. And what happens is the court just opens up. You like seeing him get into a rhythm from outside the arc. Love it. Now here's Irving. Impressive scoring stats with around 27 points a game. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. MP, the pass to James. LeBron, LeBron James rises up and punches it home. And the Nets with possession here. They trail by nine. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out, losing to the Clippers. If you can't match up on the boards, you are not going to win games. That's got to be a big lesson from that game. I think if you get out-rebounded by that wide a margin, it speaks to a lack of energy and effort, and that's problematic. Think back to the 2020 games in Tokyo, guys. Patty Mills leading Australia to the bronze medal, the first medal ever for men's basketball, a huge moment for the country. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Outside Mills. O'Neal on the wing. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Patty Mills at those Tokyo games. He was devastating at the international level doors. Oh, guys, he led the entire tournament scoring. He averaged more than Kevin Durant did with the USA team, and Kevin was fabulous. But Mills was absolutely the man for Australia. Showed up on a big stage. Patty doing work. Fantastic replay we just saw of the Mobile One drive. Yeah, nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Lakers. Well, great play down low. I mean, you expect the defense to adjust, collapse maybe, but that should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. The first free throw is good. Well, Doris, the analytics would tell you that you should take shots at the rim or from beyond the arc. But we still see players who dominate in the mid-range area. Not some players. We're talking about the best players. LeBron, Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, Steph Curry. Clay Thompson, it goes on and on. The fact is, when the games matter the most in the playoffs, you've got to have guys who make tough twos. We're not getting away from the mid-range. Don't worry, B.A. It's both from the stripe. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Brown. Beverly with it. Two minutes remain in the first. Two minutes. Back to Westbrook. And there's the lob. Six on the shot clock. And an emphatic jam on the lob. They 
They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Well, you set the tempo early, and when you get command and control of a game, it's perfect. Here's Sumner. Goes back up. And he battles for the ball, gets his second chance bucket. Boy, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. And there's James on the assist from Beverly. James has got six. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Pass to Sumner. We've got 108 left in the first quarter of the game. For Los Angeles, they've gotten all eight shots to go. They are red hot. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Drops in the three. And their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Brook. Lakers. Bryant, he's checked in for Jones. Walker comes in for Brown. And MP is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Claxton. O'Neal comes in for Thomas. Irving's checked in for Curry. And it's Mills in for Sumner. We've got LeBron James. Patrick Beverly out there with MP. Then it's Lonnie Walker. And it's Bryant in at the center position. That's the Laker five. Two shots. First one falls. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power, Grant. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do, finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. Good on both. Well, even after it appeared that there was a falling out, Kyrie Irving remains a Brooklyn net. Now, I suppose cooler heads prevail, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Irving on the move here in the near future. Now here's Walker. He's got 13. A deep three from MP. Yes, great play by Walker to set it up. MP's got eight points. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. Outside Durant. Rebound, the Lakers. James has got four rebounds in the game. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Well, the playmaking ability of LeBron James may be his best skill in a wealth of incredible skills. Pass to Mills. O'Neal on the wing. Back to Mills. James with the rebound. James has got his fifth rebound in this one. Walker against Durant. MP, the pass to James. Now here's Walker. Pass to James. Releases from 15. Again, the Lakers score. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Now here's Warren. Five points in the game. Shoots over Bryant. Oh, and again, unable to change momentum here. Outside Walker. MP outside. James, left side. Over Durant. And again, it's the Lakers. Their system is running smoothly, and the gap on the scoreboard is widening. You do like that the offense is humming along. They're putting in the effort to distance themselves. 
Time called here. The Nets decide to talk it over now. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. And somewhat surprisingly, the club split their two meetings last year. You know, despite the disparity in talent, these two teams played each other tough last year. Let's see how competitive they are this time around. Let's hear it for the most legendary dance team on the planet, your Lakers girls. Nunn's checked in for Los Angeles. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Curry comes in for Mills. A minute nine left in the first half. Here's Irving. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got three assists in the game. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Now here's MP. Give him eight. Outside none. Here's MP. Oh, he sticks that one from 20 feet. MP's got five points now in the quarter. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Well, what great game planning. What great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. Now here's Curry. He's got five. Claxton. And Bryant pulls it down. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. James finds Beverly. 26 seconds left in the second. Just five on the clock. James, left side. Sinks that one from the post. James has got 19 points. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. The kick out. Curry launches it. That one no good. Now MP. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with plenty of breathing room. 23 points to end the quarter. 32. And they've done well in limiting Durant's production, making him uncomfortable and getting him out of rhythm. More 2K action in just a moment. Excited first half. We'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. It felt like his work on the interior really gave this offense a boost. Let's see if he can dominate the rest of the way. On the floor for the Nets. It's KD at power forward and Claxton at center. Kyrie Irving out there with Patrick Mills. And it's O'Neal in at the three. So 2021 saw the addition of yet another honor to the resume of the great Kevin Durant. A selection to the NBA's 75th anniversary team. I don't think he needed cementing of his legacy, but it's just one more feather in his cap. And the defense has defense no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Even with all those accomplishments, Durant is just as hungry as ever. The B.A., to me, he's always just in a competition against himself. He simply wants to play the best basketball night after night. Here's a guy who takes tremendous pride in being complete and perfecting his craft. Oh. 
big men nowadays, Doris. Some of them handle like a guard. Well, this is the beauty and the natural evolution of having to function on the perimeter. You want to be as skilled as possible. We call it being a three-tool player, Brian. Can you dribble? Can you pass? Can you shoot? Increasingly, you must be able to do all three. And the jam by Walker. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into this second half. Outside Irving. To the middle. Pass to Durant. Here's O'Neal. The shot comes out. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. 90 seconds into the second half now. From deep, MP counted from distance. MP's got 13. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. The Nets have gone just one of three in the second half. Timeout called, Brooklyn. And no doubt, coach wants them to improve their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. in for James. Thomas, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Sumner comes in for Mills. Outside Irving. Pass to Claxton. Shoots over Bryant. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Back to MP. To the paint. Jones finds Walker, and here's MP. Clock at four. From 17, again, the Lakers. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Now here's Durant. Big time offensive force he's been. He's averaging just over 31 a game. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Yeah, more points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. And this is exactly what you love to see. Up big, not letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. Now here's Irving. 11 points in the game. Here are the Lakers now. A 12-0 run right now and counting. Here's Reeves. MP outside. 4-3. And another three for the...
Well, the advantage three. they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Sumner on the wing. Covered by MP. It's stolen by MP. And he lays it in on the break. MP's got 10 points in just the second half. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Pass to Thomas. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. We've got 155 left in the third. MP right side. Now here's Walker. Jones, the pass to Walker. And here's MP from outside. And the Lakers hit again from deep. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Back to Irving. 119 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Warren's checked in for Brooklyn. Curry comes in for Kyrie Irving. Now here's Brown. How oh, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. Here's Thomas. Shoots over Brown. No good off the back of the rim. Los Angeles has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Pass to Beverly. Here's Westbrook. Wide open. And the Lakers tack on two more. Yeah, Patrick Beverly making it easy for his teammate to score. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Thomas. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Jones with the block. Fires from deep. And it's Westbrook that time on the assist from Brown. Westbrook's got five points now in the quarter. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers making this game a no contest. They poured it on early, and they've never let up. And their three-point shooting, a big reason they have a sizable lead. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works. Or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Listen, it's a bold gamble, and ultimately, talent wins in this league. What you cannot set aside is you have to understand, do the parts fit together? Are they committed to team first? Are they willing to put in all the work required to win a championship? Without it, you won't win. 
Gabriel. He's checked in for Los Angeles. MP comes in for Schroeder. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Thomas. Back to O'Neal. Sumner on the wing. The Nets need to get off a shot here. Jones with the block. And he's able to get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Coming the floor for the Nets. Daron Sharp. Markeith Morris. Joe Harris. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. From deep, MP. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Oh, I'm hearing you're thinking about staying after all. Yeah, things got a little emotional the other day, and <laughs> this is where I want to be ultimately. Great. Well, now all we got to do is game plan. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, Mill and I, we discussed, and we think we want to avoid the press in this. Just put my head down, focus, play the best basketball that I can play, because if Othello wants to trade me, he's going to be the one that looks like a clown, not me. Uh, okay, yeah, that... That is an option, but I don't think it's our best one here, man. All right, then. Let, let me hear something. Look, MP, you are a phenomenal player. I mean, you have unlimited potential, and you know I believe this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here focusing all my energy on you like this. But right now, you've already got an uphill battle with the fans. And as it stands, if Othello leaks a trade rumor, you're going to have half this city dancing in the streets. Oh, come on, man. You don't think that's just a little too extreme right now? Uh, research shows that sports fans are 78% more likely to dance in celebration than any other type of fan, and that includes fans of ballroom dancing. Funny enough. <sighs> Thanks, Ash. Look, I'm not saying you can't do the whole good soldier routine, but, dog, to play so well that a trade is impossible <laughs> without doing any maneuvering in the press, I mean, that's extremely difficult. Impossible. <laughs> Look... Why don't you just play as well as you can while trying to work the press in your favor? I mean, but, it's the best of both but worlds. But isn't doing all mm -hmm. that behind-the-scenes stuff bad for my brand? Exactly. Like, Ashley, what do you think? Yeah, okay, it's a possibility that it could hurt your image, okay. but that is a very remote possibility, okay? <sighs> no one will blame you for wanting to stay on your own team. Mm -hmm. It's okay. when you try to force your way out that there's a problem. You know what? What if he's not comfortable trying to get another man fired? Right. Okay. I guess you guys haven't heard of the golden rule. Oh, Treat golden others rule, as you would like to be treated. Rule. Okay, fine, fine. If that's the case, then we just won't do it at all. Does that's that sound good? That's not what I'm saying. I'm just okay, saying well, you must not believe in his talent opinion, very well. If you want to, beg, you want to control skills, as many variables team. as possible, MP, you want to stay in this city, have a family with Mila like you plan to, you'll use every weapon at your disposal. You can try and control right. all the things you want with all this shenanigans and still get traded. <laughs> so it's how you want to sleep at night. So it's really up to you, man. <laughs> what are you feeling? You know how you want to play this? Okay. Now, I just want to play this thing straight through. No press, just basketball. Okay, MP, uh, are, are you sure? This is going to make things much more difficult for you. You understand that, right? Maybe, but I never shy away from no challenge. I'm proud of you. Okay. Thank you. Well, that being the case, this is what you're going to have to do to make this a viable option. I told you this wasn't going to be easy. I'm not sure what you were expecting. Like, you want to make your case on the court? It's going to have to be so crystal clear that any random fan on social media can see it. You're right, you're right. Hey, this is what I wanted, man. I'm ready. This is all, all going right. to leak yeah. eventually. 
So the only thing that we can do is try to get ahead of it, all right? Mm -hmm. okay. Hit those goals, then talk about them, mm -hmm. all right? You need to be your biggest advocate right now. And I'm talking press conferences, scrums, every opportunity you get, you need to be talking up your accomplishments. Strong, confident. Yeah, you can deliver the message however you want, but you need to deliver it. You are the one that can bring this team to the promised mm -hmm. land. Not this season, then sometime real soon. No, 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 not real soon. We need now. All right, you need to be a championship caliber centerpiece in order for this to hey, work. that's easy, man, I already am. That's what I'm talking already about. Am. That's the confidence we need. Come on, man. Anything else? Nah, that's it. Look, you want to win this war on the court, then go win it. Ain't nothing left to do now, but go ball. <laughs> My man. <laughs> My man. You shot a great percentage tonight after some struggles earlier this season. What did you notice tonight with your shooting? Yeah, coach was encouraging me to shoot more, especially when open, you know. So I tried to step into those open looks, you know, even when it's early on the shot clock. 
<laughs> my um my college coach hated those early threes, but it's the NBA. Kind of weird that you're getting the green light at the higher level, huh? Mm hmm Yeah, it's still something I'm getting used to, but I enjoy it, you know. There's more spaces at this level, and the team needs me to be, you know, a threat beyond the arc to create lanes, for, you know, open for everyone else. So I'm just happy to play my part. Well, you played it beautifully tonight. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Anytime, man.